Gonna do it again. This time we're not gonna die. Okay, so let's see. If he comes here, I can be all like. Yeah, that'll work. Come here. Oh yes, you son of a bitch! I have outsmarted thee! Oh, he's still coming. Push! Oh, he's still coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, what was the purpose of this? Yeah. Yay. What's wrong? Can you stop for a minute? No, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume? Go ahead. The bastard child. Oh no. This room. Oh no, this room. Uh, oh, thank you. No, oh, thank you. No, thank you. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. 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 Oh shit. This is not good. Oh no. As nice as that was launched. Oh Jesus Christ. Brilliant! Brilliant! Purple wood. Uh, hello. He's army. Your voice just now? Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. It is. Okay. Who's Kazami? Why is it so quiet? <gasps> oh no! Well, let's go say hi to Psycho. Wait, what the heck? What the heck? What's this? Stain both what? It almost looks like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear, vo hear her voice. No, no, please don't. Don't. What, what's wrong? Ah, okay. <laughs> it's the Whittle Bloomers again! Okay. Say go! No! Okay. Shimazaki! Damn it all, what the hell's going on here? I've stopped asking that question. Yo, are you alright, Shinozaki? <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Bring me more. You do whatever I ask of you. I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. 
clean up is a real pain in the ass too, you know. Have some pity. What's up? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the hell? That really hurt. I believed in you. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying! <laughs> Damn it. Oh shit. Okay, she's lost it. Hey, it's you, the bastard. That poor girl. She's lost her mind, and she'll never get it back. Position is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down to the pit of your soul, and someone else's take their place. <laughs> Are you me staring at the transfix? Okay. Yep, the guy got it. Okay. I assume I need to find something to snap her out of it. Perhaps. Zaki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. But man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what this did to her. Kishinuma! What's all this smoke, I say? Get the hell out of the stall. Right this is sent? Oh god, your man. Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child, you know that. Why'd you even come to school in the first place? Huh. Disowned by your pants, living on your own, got no friends. Never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, that thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh, huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family. But they've never once showed their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we've ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. Oh, you're a douche. Huh. My parents aren't exactly proud of me, shall we say. Yeah, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. Problem is, people are having kids when they're too, way too young. Before they've become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass. Then drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition... They're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> What's with that look? I've never hit a t-shirt before. Oh well, first time for everything. You should support that. Eh? What if it isn't the class rep? What up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back back at the staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Mm hmm, Shinozaki? You've got great eyes, you know. That. Always so clear and focused. <laughs> We instructors like your kind, best of all. If you have a problem, you can come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> Go fuck off. 
That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? Ellipses. What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like that him. You'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be. And no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Uh... Sorry, whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from Class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinozaki from Class 1-3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey. When you told him Vice Principal was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course! Fuck yeah! <laughs> I agree. I've never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. That I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test. To see if I really meant that. No matter what happens, part. Whoa! Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shin up. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Ooh! Just multiple broken bones that throw out the head and agree as you gave Snatter. Is he last thing I saw was a figure with a white MG as an outdraft. Yumi was clearly very pleased with herself. Asshole. Go die in a fire. <laughs> what was the last time I saved? I don't remember. Oh, God. What do I gotta do? That no matter what happens. Maybe I don't leave her? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try this. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Oh. Okay. My computer crashed right as he hugged the what's her face. So now I gotta play through that part again! Yay! Gonna play through that part again!
She's getting raped! Fuck off. Okay. Here we go. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. That I protect her no matter what happened. Or happens. Ugh, I can't talk. This must be a test. To see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Oh god. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shinozaki. Hug! Please come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Uh, so warm. Shinuma? Where? What? Shizaki, you're. Eh! <laughs> Oh, is it you? Are you back? What, what, what do you... Well, you can say bonkers. So what you're saying... Yeah, so far all the corpses we found in here... ...have been people we've never met before. But that stain... ...was left by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. The next thing I knew, I was in your arms. You were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? <laughs> Someone close to us, huh? I really, really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. It was so freezing cold. So my throat was hot. It felt like I was on fire. And then I voided my bowels. And Everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared. And the pain was so excruciating. Sob. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. Sniffle. I know. Ugh. Well... We've searched the whole building, Miss Yui. Really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably the best. No, Satoshi. No, Satoshi, the others, though, either. Oh, God. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me! Have you heard the word of, Je of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Speaking of Christ, will you freaking save? Thank you. Now what's going on in here? Giddy conversational laughter can be heard wafting after I'm in the infirmary. <laughs> really? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Hey, it's you! So one girl. <laughs> That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> this is a moto. Get away. You need to run quickly. And my homeroom teacher is the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it. Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Oh, God. Shimazaki, Kishinuma. Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, Fortune and Dr. Fowler performed. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped trade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the constructor of the Fowler home. And the scissors held in the confirmed hand have been confirmed used to cut the confirmed victims' confirmed tongues, confirmed ultimately confirmed leading to their confirmed death, to a confirmed excessive confirmed bleeding or confirmed choking. One of the victims confirmed even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This, this cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Everything you can do is big shit here. And four were found in the basement room. These children, one was, when the investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was blood. Newspaper is torn from this point. The bottom half is the article. He is missing. <laughs> Good guy. It goes in the same places in uniforms as the children in the photographs. This one was chasing us to the first floor earlier. It's one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. You're crazy. I don't think that's a good idea, Susan Moto. Really need to get out of this room. Shiver whimper. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No, stop! Hey, what, what's going on? Uh, Shizaki! Damn it, what the hell did you do? Come up, play! Oh, okay, I'll tell you. Bastard kitties! Yeah, so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. I can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? We do. I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Whoa! Whoa! Your nose is bleeding. What? D -d don't tell me that. Jeez, you're so blunt about it too. Sniffle honk. Would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello? Huh? Oh! Wait a minute! No, wrong voice! She... She's got eyes like a dead fish! You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say they recognize your uniform. Actually... I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho Seino, Seino Kai. Ellipses. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communicating with spirits. Has been and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Senoki. Senoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own vo of your own volition, on purpose? There's a way to do that. That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, 
I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces, given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School, show the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years ago, I mean 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. Four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there might be a way out of here. Without that, without all of that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah. But put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret for the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in this school. Yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? You will need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, hey, Shirazaki, hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Okay!